All right, section three, air conditioning and refrigeration, chapter seven, heating passenger train cars, recommendations, part one, general, the basic requirements of a heating a passenger train at any length of the must be based on the amount of steam and electrical energy used by a car per hour, which depends on the great extent of the train speed operation, will be found with the wheel insulated passenger car, will use the 230, 300, 350 pounds per car hour, ambient temperature zero to 31 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the speed and weather conditions, the number of the cars of the train can be properly heated, depending on the size of the train, steam line of the locomotive, the of the steam train and the generally susceptible to heat the train of the cars that have the two inch stream lines and two and a half inch train line that does not train does not have the carrying capacity to heat more than 12 or 14 cars. The train modern com, um, cars of the two and a half stream line steam line steam train line is to be to heated it is helped develop that the trains of 16 to 20 cars uh, heat satisfactory for each of the diesel and electrical locomotives that seem heated generated and have capacity supplied with a volume of 350 pounds screw in per car that had a power pressure rating ranging from up to 250 psi the proper heating the proper heating of the long trains for each of has each of the year closer to the solution some of the railroads have recognized that the fact larger size of the better insulated trains can materially improve the heating conditions are replacing the present the two inch train lines within nine and two and a half inch train lines including the latest best approved practices insulating the stream line seeing the train line against the windpipe to radiation losses proper tension the insulation material improve the heating conditions and severe weather conditions um, the number of the cars to be heated determined in some cases ability of the stream heat generated to produce the steam the required of the rate of the provided with a minimum of 200 psi at the rear of the car of the train running at the high speed and in other cases the quantity of heating water carrying supply the steam demand with a minimum of four and a half hours the following of the brief description and analysis of the various type of the heating system steam heat low pressure heating system figure one with steam heat line train line with the low pressure the, the single pressure reducing the valve and then fed with the floor overheated with the heat of the radiation through the thermos statically controlled steam at admission can, um, valves can condensate void with the, the thermostat traps. Low pressure heating system figure two with the system of the train line reduces the low pressure with the regulator set with the discharge so that into the atmosphere pressure with exceedingly relevant point, which is the eventual engine. Adjusted with the system thick fan with the floor door radiation obtain, contains the inner tube and the inner tube and the steam supplied with the thermos, the thermos thermostatic controlled steam admission valve at the far end of the inner tube. The, the returns is vapor condensated through the outer tube with the trap of the regulator overheated with the heat of the coal similar regulated with the steam admission valve with the separate thermos at it controls. Another low pressure heating of the system figure three and four with the steam of the train line recorded reduced the pressure through the one or more regulators. The system also used the fine. The, use the fin floored radiation with an inner tube. The steam emission valve, the both the floor and overheated with the radiation, are fixed with the over orifices type of the adjusted with the maintaining and even the temperature car in the car. The temperature temperature is controlled with the thermostatically through solenoid operated regulator regulators. For low pressure non electrical control heating fixture, um, system figure five within the steam of the train line reduced the lower pressure through the signal, reducing the valve of the temperature control accomplished means the violated valves will liquid the thermo type thermostat actual system admission valve for one at each of the floor with the heat coils, one of the overhead for the heating coil. The thermostatic control valve has two thermal bobs, one reasonable, one responsive to car temperature, one outside temperature. The bulbs the function to raise the car temperature in an outside temperature decrease and keep the steam valve closed during the cooling se 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 session. Waste product heat, liquid heating system figure six on the car equipped with the diesel engine alternators with 300 kilo, sorry, 30 kilowatts capacity or larger. The of the diesel engine cooling system is used to heat the car when the load is demanded on the engine and is not adequate to supply the required the BTU to properly heat the car with the supplemented with the electrical immersion heaters that which turn additional ad, additional loads on the diesel engine with the system of the heat with the engine. Exhaust gas is used for the heating of the surface of all water. The system also provides the means of the heating of the circulation liquid with the steam and the steam oil located with the commonly tank on the cars equipped with the steam stream train line. Electrical heat, um, head, -end, head end electrical heat power 480 volts, three phase, 60 cycle furnace with the diesel engine alternator located with the locomotive power car on the unit type of the tri In the figure seven, each of the cars heat electrical heat means that the strip of the heaters with the, of which the 28 point K kilowatts is located with the heater box among the, along the floor is at the side of the wall heat of the strip heater, heaters are 25.5 kilowatts or mostly mounted near the rear near the evaporator unit to provide with the proper amount of overheated heat. 
multiple unit type of the type of the cards. The electrical power of the 11,000 volt single that phase 25,000 sorry 25 cycle furnished with the trolley transformed to 624 volt supplied with the heating system. Each card is heated with a strip heater with is 23 kilowatts are located with the heater box and as long with the floors of the side wall the strip heaters with 24 kilowatts are also mounted near the evaporator to, on the unit to provide with the pro um, proper amount of the overheated heat. Three, the non-electrical cars within the 110 feet to the DC electrical furnace from the axle driven 35 kilowatt motor generated with a 65 kilowatt hour storage battery to supply the 45 kilowatt kilo energy strips. Heaters with a 20 kilowatt are located with the heater box along the floor of the side of the wall with 25 kilowatt mounted with the evaporator for the overhead heat. A liquid heating system, figure 8, can also be used with the power source for substituting fine of the tube radiation conventional overhead heat of the coil, coil and com common, ling common, ling tank, common ling tank with immersion heaters with those first strip heaters. Reverse cycle heating, a sy system of reverse cycle heating using the indirect system of the refrigeration, same as the circulating medium permanent antifreeze is used for the cooling and heating of the refrigeration unit supply of the recoil with set overhead of the floor of the will consist with a 10 12 ton capacity refrigeration capacity directly. And connected to the 15 horse power motor. This will require the use of the 65 kilowatt hour battery with additional axle driven 35 kilowatt motor generated. The bit of heating must be supplemented with electrical heat when outside the temperature is below 25 degrees Fahrenheit, as shown as the tabulation comparative with the cost of the various methods of heating of the 20 carrier passenger train table. Once the amplified low pressure from a conventional steam heating system is the economical non electrical type of the passage passenger car. The relative merit of the various methods of the heating of the passenger trains or the cars are outlined below. One the steam heat allowed with the diesel electric locomotive through two and a half inch train line, although the cost is lower than the disadvantage with requiring additional diesel electric locomotive in order to provide sufficient team and steam electricity capacity for given length of the train if the de temperature decreased. Two waste heat for the diesel power plant on each car. The overall cost of the apparatus of the car is higher than the flat and low pressure steam system that is supplied with the, from the train. This method of considerable merit is also does not increase the demand of the diesel electrical locomotive. This advantage may be governing the factor in deciding the economics of the system. At end power of the diesel engine alternator supplying all power to the electrical heating and system through the 480 volt three phase 60 cycle training. The cost of the domestic is more higher than other methods should be considerably on, on, only for the unit type of the trains. For electrical heating with a single non-electrical type of cars with electrical energy supplied with the axle driven motor generator, the method can be either liquid the heating system with a heat supplied by the emergent heaters, a system using stripping heaters the cost either the method is only so slightly more than low pressure steam through the two and a half inch train line for the diesel electric locomotive. The advantage of the disadvantage of this system are as their files. The system requires a large storage battery with an additional 335 kilowatt axle driven motor generator for the 200 car for a 20 car train and it would be placed an additional loaded loaded approximately 900 kilowatts with the diesel electric locomotive to actuate the axle driven motor generators would require an additional diesel electric locomotive meters depending on the weather condition. It would also require the VR standby service to provide with all the times of some freezing weather to prevent damage, maintain the storage battery is fully charged and condition the maintenance cost of an additional motor generator must also be considered also as car equipped with the strip heaters would have a steam train line that could be used only with the rear of the conventional trains thus resulting in considerable additional shifting on the terminal yards. This is an AR electronic, um, electric, AR, AR electrical manual. Um, this sh it shows the tabulation of comparative of the various methods of uh, heating a 20 car sing, sing car passenger train. Electrical heating for a single car. The liquid heating of the system employing with the coupling tape with not more than advantages. The liquid can be heated with either the electrical immersion heater that is by the seam coil of the coupling a tank of liquid circulated through the heating coils of the use of the seam. Train line is decided decided advantage during the transitional period as the cars can be used anywhere in the, in the train consists. Also more provided with the normal standby heat in terminal yards. Five reverse cycle the heating in the heating passenger car. There are no cost figures available for this system. The method requires the use of additional 35 kilowatt axle driven motor general generator, large capacity storage battery, 10 to 12 ton reversal cycle refrigeration and unit and electrical car heaters. Heating of the car is obtained with the circulating hot liquid system with both the overheated with the heat and the floor heat. This involves the use of the water cooled um, condenser, the use of the booster heaters in the form of the electrical immersion units. The above the 25 U five uh, Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, outside air temperature all allow 
Although heat is obtained with the various re research, reverse cycle heating with the compressing and unloading as is demanded with the heating of the decrease below 25 outside of the air temperature, the reverse cycling heating is supplemented with the electrical immersion heaters, the both floor of the overheated with the heat control, the booster heaters, and the thermos, thermostatic control of the immersion to be heating the use is required. Difficulty will be encountered with the frosting of evaporator surface at the outside temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The process removed from the surface of the evaporator periodically using the cooling system of the emergency heaters preventing the cold air being blown into the car. Since the system requires additional motor generator, it will be necessary for the diesel electric locomotive to supply additional tractive effort as the outside the temperature decreases the number of the cars in the train must be reduced to compensate for the additional load. One manufacturer has developed the heat pump, the reverse cycle heating that will automatically change the single to multiple stage operations when the outside temperature is below 25 degrees Fahrenheit, which will furnish a requisite amount of the heat outside of the temperature down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> All right, your summary. The study indicates all the methods of electrical heating include the reverse cycling heating system that for individual non-electrical passenger car requires use of additional axle-driven motor generator. Although the maintenance cost of these systems may be less than the, less, the usual difficulties encountered with the stream, tra stream train line and eliminated electrical heating would not be kind of economical as well as required additional tractive effort from the diesel electric electrical locomotives when maximum tractive effort is needed during the winter season. This will result in the use of additional locomotive power for the reduction of the number of the cars in, in, the, in the train. The waste heating system for the diesel engine alternator power plant is the only system on other, other than steam that does not require additional tractive effort to generate the electrical power required. Although the trouble encountered with the steam heating apparatus and steam train lines are eliminated, overall cost of equipment maintenance would probably be greater. All right, this shows a, uh, a heater, number floor heater. Another floor heater. Floor heater. Sections of a floor expansion radiation ra radiator radiation accident suspension rat traps. Overhead heat coil solenoid valve control panel thermostatic pass valve water filling valve filling pipe water level vent solenoid valve vent cumulating tank electrical immersion immersion thermostats relief valve solenoid valve non monofill fittings overhead heating control panel water filling pipe with water fill connection line um, immersion f thermostat fluid vent solenoid vent thermal fluid pump control panel antifreeze fluid circulating pump relief valve electrical immersion heater com com commonly tank monoflow fittings and solenoid valve overheated co coolers Pin tube solenoid monofill fittings, commonly tank electrical immersion heater relief valve, um, anti freezing circulating pump. Association of American Railroad Operation Maintenance Department, Electrical Section, Engineering Mechanical Division, Manual Standards, Recommendation Practices, Section 4, Motors and Controls.